Hello everyone, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace. On this channel, I talk about faith, culture, and media awareness. And today I'm gonna to talk about listening, the fine art of listening, and how to become a good listener. I'm not sure if you've noticed this, but it seems like people in our culture, um, people in our uh, families, in our workplaces, and elsewhere, especially on TV and on social media, uh, nobody seems to really be listening to each other, which is causing a great deal of division. As a Catholic Christian, to be a disciple really requires you to be in relationship with other people. And you can't really be in relationship with other people very well unless you are a very good listener. For those of you who know me, I have worked in media for a very long time. I have worked in television media as a producer and news anchor and interviewer for 13 years. I worked at a CBS affiliate station and that required a lot of listening. Print journalist for a very long time and you are constantly interviewing people uh, needing to get their quotes exactly right. So you have to be a very, very good listener for that. And I currently, as an interviewer on Catholic Radio Indy, I've had to work really hard to be a good listener. Number one, put your cell phone down. <laughs> I'm guilty of this. And um, a lot of people I know do this. They are not giving the person that they're talking to their full attention. If you're looking at a screen, if you're looking at your cell phone, if you're looking at something else, if you're even doing something else, you're not really fully giving that person your full attention. So the first thing is you've got to give the person that you're talking to your full attention. So that's number one. And a big part of that is to put your cell phone down, number one. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> this one's really obvious. You're supposed to be silent when the other person is talking. Okay, now that sounds so obvious, but a lot of people, and I can be guilty of this too, you interrupt or start talking when they're talking or you try to talk over them, you know, and that kind of thing. You really have to be silent when the other person's talking. So that's number two. Okay. Number three, you really need to give the person that you're talking to um, eye contact. Really look at the person. Um, respond with facial expressions. You know, don't just sit there like completely deadpan and it's like, it, you need to kind of communicate with your body, both, you know, with your, you know, looking at them and maybe with your, you know, facial expressions that you're listening. Um, and that's why I think social media can be really difficult. And even when I do a phone interview with somebody, I cannot see them. And in fact, when we've been doing phone interviews recently, we've also been um, doing Zoom so that we can see the person because that's a whole level of communication that's not happening. So when you're texting someone or when you're, you know, making comments on social media or something like that, or even when you're on a phone call, when you can't see the person, it, it just makes it much more difficult to read how they're receiving what you're saying. So likewise, when, when you're listening to somebody, you need to be responding to them visually, you know, smiling, frowning, <laughs> looking at them, but, but making eye contact is really important. Okay, let me see the next one. All right, here's another one that I think is really important. You need to mo do more than just, you know, be silent and look at the person. I mean, th those are also extremely important. But how I know someone's listening to me is when they ask questions. And that's one thing that really tells a person that you're listening to them is when you ask for either a clarification question or a, um, you know, maybe restate what they say. So they say something and, and, and then you might say to them, so you're saying X, Y, Z, you know, 
and or you're saying this now is that do you mean this so i think you know asking questions and restating what the person says shows them that you're listening to what they're saying especially <laughs> and if your question is completely irrelevant to what they said they know that you didn't weren't listening to them so a couple other things that i wanted well, that i wanted to mention that i thought were really good in this article um, and I'll put the link to it. It's, um, there was research done and it's called what, what great listeners actually do. And there's, um, a couple things that I thought were good in here. When you're having a conversation with somebody, you really need realize that that person has feelings. <laughs> okay. The conversation really needs to be a win-win. You know, you can listen to them and build them up just by listening to them. So when we have interactions with people, by listening to other people, whether we agree with them or not, we're affirming them in the sense that we're listening to them. And people really just want to be heard. I think a big part of our um, trouble that we're having right now is that nobody's listening to anybody. And so people keep getting more and more frustrated, more and more agitated, you know, more and more um, discouraged maybe. So I think by um, listening to other people, we can really kind of be peacemakers by allowing people to share what they think. The other thing I thought that was really interesting in some of these articles about listening was that people need to feel, I guess, accepted with what they're going to say. So that's another big problem of what we have right now is that people don't feel accepted. They feel very rejected. So atmosphere of acceptance of the person. So we can disagree about maybe different ideas, what they want to do, or maybe what they think, but that doesn't mean you don't care about them. And so I think that's kind of what's gotten lost in a lot of this lack of listening, going to the heart of the person that you don't matter, that I'm not gonna listen to you, you don't matter. And that's, that's not how we want to communicate with people. So that's why listening is so important because we do want to be kind to other people. And one act of charity is to be listening to people even if we maybe don't want to hear what they have to say, we can still listen and then we can share our thoughts or feelings about that particular idea or whatever. So a good listener has a cooperative conversation. They provide an atmosphere of acceptance. You know, it, it needs to be a win-win. I listen to you. I'm really excited to hear about what you have to say. That it, it just, it's a win-win. I hope this has been helpful. I just wanted to share this with you. I think that we can all become good listeners, but like anything, you really have to practice. Be patient with other people so that we can actually hear what they have to say. And there's another thing in here that I thought was really good. And it has to do with kind of like checking yourself. Like if you're really super tired or let's say you are rushed to get to something else or you, know, you just really don't have time at that moment to talk to someone or it's really important up front to let the person know that right now is not a good time. So, you know, if you're tired or you're rushed or you're just not in a good state of mind, it might be much better to just express out the gate your limitations to the person that you are going to be talking with so that you don't end up not listening to them well. So I wanted to share that too. If you haven't gotten a copy of my book, I do talk about um, discipleship using new media and um, you can get that on Amazon. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do click subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Mainly it helps me to not have to push it out so much and you just get it immediately when it's uploaded. So um, I hope this has been helpful and um, let me know if any of these things help you or if you have any other ideas about 
what makes a good listener. I'd love to hear about that and learn more because I can always improve on being a good listener. And thanks for listening yourself. So um, God bless you. And until next time, bye-bye. 